Hello friends, I am Dr. Ankit Madhavia and today I am going to demonstrate a case of uh, down migrated L5S1 disc herniation in which we did an uh, uh, inferior oblique pediculotomy and foraminotomy to access the down migrated disc herniation. This video would be more about how to use an articulated perk to do this procedure uh, very effectively and uh, enlarge the foramen in case of uh, uh, down migrated disc herniations. Uh, the pain was very uh, debilitating for this patient and uh, as we could see in the MRI there was a large disc herniation at L5-S1 level which has been down migrated and uh, which is compressing on the right S1 traversing the root and uh, it is uh, compressing in the lateral recess also. So our target was to uh, reach this area and to completely decompress our uh, S1 uh, route to achieve a good uh, pain relief in this case. Now this is an endoscopic picture of the right L5 S1 uh, disc space. Uh, we have just come out uh, from the foramen and what we are seeing now this part is the superior articular process. This artic superior facet joint or the ascending facet and this is the Wagner SARS that we call. And we start our work from this region. So we are undercutting the uh, superior article process with our articulating bar. The, the, the way we use this articulating bar is uh, we first uh, uh, reach that area and we start tilting it. And with this tilting moment, we slowly cut off the required bone material. Now we must remember that we have to be very slow when we are doing this, and we must not hurry to take out uh, lots of amount of bone we must always do little bit and come out see and then go ahead go go inside and do our work again and this is a tedious job but it gives a very good result in the, in the aspect of the exposure that we can get and you can see already we are we are started removing the extra articular part of the superior articular process and this is the disc space that you can see and the with the uh, C movement from right to left, we uh, we can uh, smoothen out that uh, area of the superior articular process. I am using a diamond burr here because uh, that helps to reduce the bleeding that, that we encounter from the bone because the dust that it creates it blocks all those uh, bleeders uh, theoretically and uh, it is known to uh, cause less of a bleeding as compared to uh, other kind of burrs. So diamond burrs are my recommendation here. Now you can see that uh, there is only thin plate of bone left here and uh, we would be gradually removing those. Now. Now whenever you are operating in this uh, lower part of the foramen you must remember that it is highly vascular area and you would encounter lot of oozing and bleeding. So you must use uh, some irrigation pump or some pressure system to uh, facilitate your good visualization otherwise uh, your field would be full of blood and you won't be able to see anything so whenever you are dealing with down migrations uh, remember that you will need uh, some something to keep the pressures up so all these procedures that i do is under local anesthesia and uh, the reason i do it only under local because it, it increases the safety of the procedure now you can see this is the uh, S1 upper end plate and uh, this is the Wagner arch and we have already done so much of bone removal that this foramen has started to look quite roomy now. Look how much we have increased this area. Again, we must remember to be very slow and just be very precise in whatever we are doing. 
take out minimal bone as much as required and uh, be very targeted about what you do now you can see that uh, we have adequately exposed this area this is a down migrate disc herniation which will be removed subsequently but this video is all about how we open up the foramen using an articulated burr and this is after the procedure you can see the it was just looking like a slit and now it is opened up so wide and we could very easily see uh, this is the disc fragment now this was the original part of pedicle and the way we have cut this part of pedicle is called the superior oblique pediculotomy and this could be very well achieved by using an articulated burr i hope you have understood what i have demonstrated here and uh, i hope this was helpful so i'm dr ankit malaria i'll see you in my next video bye